Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a very impromptu video. I was not planning to do it. So I'm sitting on my floor. I'm sorry if it's really bad lighting. You know, we're gonna move past it. I shopped till I dropped today. I got home, I started looking at all my new books I got, and I wanted to show them off, you know, like we do, and I knew I didn't want to do a book haul because it's not that many to do a good haul. So I thought, what else can I do with them? Let's talk about every book that's on my TBR. I have them in front of me. Um, they usually sit on those two empty shelves. Those are my TBR shelves, every other book I've read, and every other book on the shelf I usually film in front of, I've read. So. These are it, y'all. We're winding down. Uh, it's not that many. I think it's about 21 books. So yeah, I went to the used bookstore today to drop off some more books that I've either read and didn't like or books that I know I'm never gonna read. I'm really proud of myself. You know, I got rid of some crap books. Yeah, let's get started because I'm gonna blab on and on. First of all, I think we all have those books that have been on our TBR shelves for years. And, you know, there's a part of us that wants to read it, but there's also a part of us that knows we're never gonna read it. And I'm slowly getting rid of those. I got rid of like four of them today, but I still have some. And it's just like hard to give them up because you're like, what if I do want to read it one day? Then I can friggin' buy it again. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I just, I'm really trying to get better at like hoarding tendencies. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely have some like dusty TBR books um, that I'm gonna show you. First being Animal Farm by George Orwell. This is the shortest book known to man and I can't for the love of God make myself pick it up and read it. <laughs> I do want to read it by the end of the year. I should sit down for like a friggin' hour and I will knock it out, but I can't. I can't. You will also notice that like all of these are nonfiction because I just have not been in a nonfiction kind of headspace lately. Like the past couple years, like all I want to read are like fun fictional books. So I'm keeping them around to make myself look smarter. The Captured by Scott Zesh, A True Story of Abduction by Indians on the Texas Frontier. Um, I got this because I read News to the World and I really liked it. So I kind of looked up books talking about the same kind of stuff and this popped up. It is only $5. I'm going to keep it a little bit longer, see if I ever pick it up. If not, back to the used bookstore she owes, where she came from actually, where most of these books came from. So I didn't pay full price for them, but still. Uh, we are the weather. I don't know y'all, I don't know. Right now I'm in my master's program taking classes. It's like environmental science, so I'm learning about like how the earth is dying and we're killing it. And so I don't really wanna like for fun read a book about that as well, which I think this is kind of what it's about, so. But I keep it because it's really pretty. Probably get rid of that one on the next round as well. <laughs> Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Am I ever going to read this? Probably not. Makes me look smart. The Cattensville Nine. A Story of Faith and Resistance in the Vietnam Era. Had this for a couple years now. I don't know anything about it, so I pr should probably read it and learn. But am I ever going to? Probably not. <laughs> Isaac Storm by Eric Larson. I think I actually will read. I did read one of his books. Um, Dead Wake this past summer and I loved it. So I know I'll probably enjoy this. It's just like getting to that headspace of like history, but I'll get there. I think I definitely will read that one. Um, Short Nights of the Shadow Catcher, The Epic Life and Immortal Fo Photographs of Edward Curtis. This one actually looks kind of cool. Um, it has a lot of photos, really historical, you know, learning about uh, Native Americans. I'll probably read this one, so I'm keeping that one. Badass Librarians of Timbuktu. I don't think I'm ever gonna read this. <laughs> God, it's so interesting though, but I just, I can't. I can't. If you've read any of these, please tell me to read them if you liked them. If you hated them, then I'll get rid of them, and I thank you for your service. But, uh, Badasses of the Old West. I am keeping this one though because it's just kind of fun. I don't think I'll ever like read it, but. <laughs> I don't know, I like it on my shelf, okay? Those I haven't read just because I don't care about nonfiction right now. The next five I haven't read because they're very large and big books really friggin' intimidate me, so. <laughs> this I got pretty recently, Damnation Spring by Ash Davidson. I got like 30 pages into it and I was just like not ready to commit to a book this long, so put it down. Probably gonna pick it up soon. Also that same kind of thing happened with Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. 
this is like the perfect time of year to read this book and I can't. I picked it up a couple weeks ago, read like 15 pages and I was like, I'm over it. So make me read those two books. I've heard good things. So I just need to buckle down and get to work. The next three I've had <laughs> for a really long time. Grinnell, I picked up when I first started making videos again, like a couple years ago. I picked this up and like raved about how excited I was to read it and I still haven't read it. America's Environmental Pioneer and His Restless Drive to Save the West. Looks really dope, but it's like, it's like over 500 pages and it's nonfiction. Some switch needs to go off in my brain to make me read nonfiction. But yeah, I spent a pretty penny on this too. It was $35. Still haven't read it. Of course, haven't read Barack Obama's book yet. She's thick, she's intimidating. I do wanna read this over Christmas break. I'll have like three weeks to just like sit on a couch with some hot chocolate and read this. And I just need to do it. Last big book. <laughs> the biggest of them all, War and Peace by Leah Tolstoy. I just think it's funny that I picked this up and thought that I would ever read it. But I know it's like a lot of people's favorite classic. And so I bought it cause it was really pretty and it was like $10 and I think it's like such a beautiful copy of it. And when I looked it up on Goodreads, like people love it. Like it's a classic for a reason. I just, she's like a Bible. She is really daunting. So those are the ones that have like collected dust. I've had for years, but I'm most excited to talk about the books I got today that I need to read. I'll start with the two thrillers. I'm getting more into thrillers. You know, I read The Silent Patient. I really liked it. I want to read these that people talk about, mainly um, Kat from Paperback Dreams. I think she liked both of these. So Gillian Flynn, Sharp Objects, and Riley Singer, Lock Every Door. I've heard really good things about these and they kind of look good together. I think I'm gonna read this like right after I finish this video though. I'm really excited. So we got thrillers. I had also heard of Trust Exercise by Susan Choi. Saw this for eight bucks. I was like, sure. I don't know if people said they liked it or not, but I've heard people talk about it. The last three that I got from the bookstore today, I have not heard anything about. I like to do that. You know, I like to mix it up. I like to be different pick up some books that no one's talked about because I think it's fun and I think it keeps things exciting because if you're only reading books that like other people talk about I feel like it can get kind of boring and kind of like repetitive so bring in some new blood in first up The Island Child by Molly Aitken she's so cute I saw this and like fell in love it says it's a timeless story of birth and betrayal storms shipwrecks and fairy children and the weight of long buried secrets Little fairy tale. I'm into it. I can try it out. The 100 Years of Lenny and Margot by Marianne Cronin. I'm so excited about this. It is the most beautiful copy I've ever seen. A steal at 8.50. This talks about Lenny who's 17 and she like is told she's gonna die in this hospital. And then she meets magnificent Margot, an 83 year old purple pajama wearing fruitcake eating rebel who transforms Lenny's life in ways she never imagined. And they kind of form a friendship. And I think it's gonna be really sad, but I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be really cute. And then there's a Lost Children Archive by Valeria Luiselli. This one looked really interesting, also very beautiful, but um, talks about this family on a road trip. And there's this crisis engulfing the news. The stories of thousands of kids trying to cross the Southwestern border into the US but being detained or getting lost in the desert along the way. Kind of spooky, but also says it's kind of funny. So I don't know, but I thought it was so pretty and I'm really excited to get to this one as well. Books that the used bookstore didn't take, I brought to the little library down the street and this one was new. I literally walk by there every day. I, it's weird. It's in front of someone's house. They're probably like this girl needs to get away from her house but go there every day usually it doesn't change usually it's the same books so i picked up beach read from that one which was like a steal like i'm so glad i found that there but i saw this one today that i've never seen lake como by anita hughes i didn't know if i should pick it up or not but i was like it's free and you just donated six books so do it so he did I'm still really obsessed with Italy. It's an ongoing theme with my life. And I saw this and it was just so beautiful that I couldn't pass it up, okay? It's about Italy. I can't go to Italy right now, so let's just read about it. And those are all the books that are to be read that I've not read yet. 
I'm really excited for all my new ones. <sighs> Lord knows if I'm gonna get to any of my dusty ones, but I hope you guys like this video. Sorry, like I look a mess. The background is not the usual background, but I'm just, I just felt like sitting chatting. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know how many books are on your TBR. I would love to know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.